welcome back everyone in this video i will discuss how to do the route setup for routing management here i will use go router package so in the pubspec.yml i have taken the latest dependency of go router right after that i will move to the lib folder inside the lib we have created the core folder and inside the core we have created the theme folder for theme management fine after that inside the core folder i will create one more folder named as routes inside this routes folder first of all i will create a file named as a route name this file will contain all the route names because here i will use named routes right now i will create a class route names and let me declare a variable static const splash equals to and let me give its name as splash in this way i will create different different route names like splash login register to do add to do in this way we will create all the route names in this particular file after that in the routes folder i will create one more file named as routes dot dot now here i will create a variable of type go router and let me give the name as router equals to go router after that in the routes it will take a array here i need to define all the routes of our application let me declare the first route and to declare the first route here i will use go route after that here i will use name in the name i will use route names dot splash then here i will declare path that is slash because whenever our application will be launched at that time by default the path will be slash and for that particular path which particular view will be opened that we need to specify in this builder which will take the context and the state here i need to specify const and after that the view which we want to open so here i want to open the splash view this view is still not created that i will create later on after that i will put a semicolon here after doing this i need to move to main dot dot and in this main dot dot here instead of material app i need to write material app dot router after that there is no need of this home so i will remove this and after that here i will use router config in this router config i will use the router which we have created right this router is actually coming from this routes dot dart so whenever our application will be launched at that time here for this particular route this splash view will be called and that view will be visible in our device right this is how we set up the route for our application that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching